Hi everyone and welcome to International Zine Month 2021, day two. Today's prompt, according to the the official list, is Zine Rewind. Reread your favorite zines, a reminder of why you love them. And of course, this is always a nice way to kick off the month, right? So in no particular order, I have a small selection of some zines that I would consider to be my favorites. So one of my favorite zines that I reread for this prompt is titled Caring Hands, The Quandaries of a Body Removal Technician by Hazel. And a body removal technician is the official title for the person who goes to pick up a dead body from the place that they died to deliver them to the crematorium slash funeral home. And this is a collection of stories and memories from Hazel's part-time job as a body removal technician. Um, and it goes into how Hazel got the job to begin with and why Hazel was drawn to the job in general. And then a few, you know, probably the majority of the zine is made up of stories of um, different jobs that they were sent out on to pick up. And um, it is not especially, I, I suppose it's somewhat morbid, but it's not uh, especially depressing. I think that it's a very goth zine, I suppose is the way to describe it. Um, it's done very, it's done with a lot of tact and a lot of respect and um, a lot of beauty as it examines this part of death and dying that we don't really consider very often. The reason that this zine is one of my favorites is because it helps me access a lot of thoughts on death and dying and my dad's death, which is the one that has affected me the most in a way that is not too overwhelming and um, satisfies a sort of um, a feeling of, of care and of beauty in death. A few of my favorite lines that I want to read for, from this, um, just a few, I really love the whole thing. One is, my orientation was a week later on a Wednesday. I showed up on time and took care to park down the street so my new employer wouldn't see my I break for cemeteries bumper sticker, which <laughs> I just love that so much. And another one is very soon after. And this was something that, um, that Hazel learned once they started the job. When we pick up a person, we take them into our care. I like this word choice. And I do too. I just think it's very beautiful. So, Caring Hands, um, I think I misquoted the title at first. It's Caring Hands, The Quandaries and Chronicles of a Body Removal Technician. Definitely one of my favorites. This next one I have is relatively new to my collection. Um, it's so recent actually that I didn't have a chance to include it in my Art Zines collection show off video just like a month ago. But it's really good and it quickly has become one of my absolute favorite zines for uh, design inspiration and just for a lot of, uh, I don't know, when I need, when I need a little inspiration or I need a little perk up, it is titled Goth Girls Galore, um, made by Salmonidae, uh, with the second A as a four. I'll of course link everything below, but so anyway, sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, but uh, goth Girls Galore, 15 Types of Alternative Fashion and the Women Who Wear Them. And it's basically just a big collection of drawings of um, outfits and of characters um, in these different outfits for different uh, styles of goth and alternative fashion. And they are so cute. Um, this is my favorite one, probably. Um, traditional goth, and that's very much my preferred style, although I don't go as, um, it's probably not what my, my actual displayed style is in my life, but this is my, one of my favorite styles. Um, and then one of the other ones, let's see, here's probably more where I fall on the spectrum is the, uh, casual goth, <laughs> but really love it. And then this here is punk. Um, and it's just such a 
such a nice little zine and it's so full of life and um, I love all the shapes in the designs and I really just, I just get so inspired by this and it makes me want to draw and it makes me want to try on a bunch of different outfits and it makes me want to be creative and that I think is just one of the beauties of a zine, right? <laughs> and um, so I'm very, I'm very happy that I have this. I love looking through this. And even though it's just like a little mini zine, it's actually uh, longer than most mini zines because the creator has cut the pages in half. So there's actually 16 pages total um, rather than the usual eight of a mini zine. And um, it just feels very substantial for, you know, for an art zine and it's so colorful and it's just, I just, what can I say? <laughs> I just really love this one. Goth Girls Galore. This next one is one of my favorites of all time. I got it last year and I refer to it constantly when I am looking for inspiration for my own zines, uh, especially my tarot zines, or when I am just feeling especially philosophical or especially witchy or just want to look at a bunch of cool images. Like, I just, I really like, I really like this one. I'll just tell you what it is at this point. Why not? It is The Alchemical Wedding by Brian Cote Noir. Sorry if I pronounce that Cote Noir. And um, it is a relatively short little zine that um, it's about a, the concept in alchemy called The Alchemical Wedding, which is basically the unity of of opposites and the unity of equals um, as a method for achieving enlightenment. And it sort of talks about that as a philosophical concept and alchemical concept, what it is and, um, how it can actually be utilized, I guess, or, or sort of the purpose of it in a philosophical sense. So anyway, I'll just show a couple. I won't, I won't give too much away cause it's sort of a, you know, the pages are big, so it's sort of a relatively short zine. Um, but like here's here's a series and there the whole zine has a whole bunch of these old images from alchemical texts and there is a bibliography in the front of the texts that these images were taken from which is amazing i love that um and like here's one that i really like just for describing alchemical unity in general it's one plus one equals one. A new one arises different from the other ones. 2H plus O equals H2O. A dynamic orgasmic union of opposites reveals its reveals in its union other meanings. Um, so there you go. <laughs> I think it's really, it's really beautiful. It's, it's sort of conceptual, you know, I just, I just really love it. And my favorite part of this is that is is a quote that they use at the at the very end that I always kind of forget about but I'll just read it now uh this is a quote from uh George Friedman from La Poussin et la Sagesse my French is not the best um but basically it was a text that was written in 1970 um and here here's the quote <laughs> This work on yourself is necessary, this ambition justified. Lots of people let themselves be wholly absorbed by militant politics and the preparation for social revolution. Rare, much more rare, are they who, in order to prepare for the revolution, are willing to make themselves worthy of it. <laughs> and, and isn't that just so stunning? I just, I really, I really love it. And it's sort of, that's that's what the purpose of this zine is and this purpose of alchemy is sort of about um self-reflection and self-improvement and sort of distillation i mean you can see the alchemical process as a metaphor for the um evolution of the self i suppose and a lot of people will use uh the i like enlightenment or the resurrection of christ or a lot of these other metaphors to sort of um, 
encapsulate what it means to be to have gone through the entire alchemical process where you have changed and then you are able to affect change. <laughs> I'm not going to keep going because I could just keep talking and talking about this, but obviously this is one of my favorites. It was absolutely worth it. I was honestly a little bit worried about it when I first got it because it was sort of expensive as scenes go. At least for me, it was kind of expensive. Um, but I'm so, so glad that I have this. It is... It is completely beautiful and amazing. I mean, just look at this cover. Okay, I, I swear, I'm going to stop talking about this, but just, okay, really beautiful. Really love it. Okay, and the last one I have actually mentioned briefly on this channel before um, because I always have it nearby to reach for and it just popped into my head. This is Anti-Capitalist Affirmations by Nick Moreno, and it is... It is really beautiful, and it is everything that you need to hear just encapsulated <laughs> so precisely and so perfectly. And and I just absolutely love this. I always keep it nearby when I need, uh, you know, in case I need to pick me up, or if I just, you know, am starting to feel down about myself, I can usually find whatever it is that I'm feeling bad about and really recognize how much of it is coming from me and how much of it is coming from our bullshit society and capitalism and other people telling you how to feel a certain way. Um, I'll just read a couple of them off here. Um, or actually, you know what? I'm just going to read this first page because I feel like that captures, that captures the concept of a lot of this. It says, You know we are truly in the darkest dystopian timeline when we constantly need the fact that rest, enrichment, and de-stressing are basic human necessities. Not add-ons or wants, but needs. It's astounding that we're in a period in time where we are made, made to feel immense amounts of guilt for resting, something that we need to do in order to live. If that's not fucked up, I don't know what is. Rest is the most productive thing you can do. Not only that, but it is a radical act of self-care and self-love. So you should definitely pick this up. Um, and actually, as a little bonus, I um, got a couple other issues of this from um, from Julia before they were packing up and moving shop just because I love this scene so much. And so if you want a copy of this or feel that you need a copy of this or if you are just feeling down and you just really need to hear some positive reinforcement and you need something that you can turn to, please email me or leave a comment below. I have two extra copies of this that I am more than happy to mail to you, um, or, you know, to, to two of you, <laughs> um, for you to share or give to a loved one who needs it. I really think that this is something that needs to be in people's lives in one way or another. So please email me or leave a comment below for a copy of Anti-Capitalist Affirmations, and I will note in the description once I've mailed those out. Um, so if I haven't noted that in the description, then they are still available. I really want to share them because this is one of my favorite scenes of all time. I, like, please, please do not be shy. <laughs> okay, those are my favorites that I reread for this prompt. Really, really love them. And for the freezing share, I'm going to share another one of my favorite zines that happens to be free, and it is titled Youth Culture 2000. And here I'll have a, a picture and everything up here. Um, and it is <laughs> this really amazing, hilarious zine that just perfectly encapsulates what it was like to be a, you know, a, a kid slash teen in the early to mid 2000s and it has stuff on early internet culture and CDs and pop bands and music from the time and it is is so hilarious you can read it for free online on their website which is also an amazing website you <laughs> you seriously just need to click on the link i can't even describe it and um if, or if you prefer, you can read it in a PDF form or, you know, download the PDF and then print it out. Um, I got the PDF via 
Kiki magazine, and I'll have the link down there. But either way, highly recommend it. My favorite part of this is the one-page uh, quiz, like one of those, you know, flowchart, choose-your-own-adventure type quizzes, and it's titled Pick Your Poison, and it's about which of the four guys that they have on offer should you date. And <laughs> even if you don't date guys, you have to <laughs> read this. You fucking have to read it. It is completely hilarious. So, Youth Culture 2000 is my freezing share of the day. Thanks very much for watching. I am very excited and looking forward to the rest of International Zine Month. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.